What's up everyone, my name is Jared Beckwith and today I'm gonna to be going over the absolute basics of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your first neural network. I learned it from uh, Grokking Deep Learning, that's the textbook that I learned it from. I'm just going through it and you guys can follow along with me. It's only nine lines of Python code, super simple. So to start off, I wanna go over some basics. So a neural network, you've got in the simplest form, you've got an input, which for example, in this example is gonna be eight. You got a weight, which is 0.1, and then that'll give you the output. So how did we get to this output of 0.8? Now it's a super simple formula. Maybe some of you guys have already seen this and figured it out. All you gotta to do to get the output is multiply the input times the weight. So to get the output, all you have to do is multiply the input, which is 8 in this example, times 0.1. That'll give you 0.8. Now, the example that they used in the textbook, Rocking Deep Learning, by Andrew Trask, he used the example of, let's say there's a team of baseball players, and they, let's say they have an average of 8 toes, if they have an average of eight toes, you multiply that by 0.1, let's say they have an 80% chance of winning. These neural networks are all about making predictions. So let's say if they have an average of nine and a half toes, you wanna, you're gonna multiply nine and a half times 0.1, and that's gonna give you 90, 0.95 which is 95 percent so obviously the more toes that they're gonna have the higher chance that they're gonna have of winning now this isn't a perfect example obviously the number of toes people have aren't gonna directly correlate to their baseball performance but you know this is the most simplest of examples now I'm sure if they had zero toes if the whole team had no toes on average they're pretty much gonna have a 0% chance of winning, especially going up against people who have all their toes. Now, this is just the super basics. Uh, the output, which is the prediction that the neural network is making, is equal to the input times the weight. Now, back to our baseball players and toes example, we're gonna hop into my computer and we're gonna code out our first neural network no coding experience required, no mathematics except for multiplication required, no calculus, super easy guys, nine lines of code, let's get into it. Okay, if you guys have never done any coding in Python, all you have to do is go to anaconda.com, it's pretty much the main way you can download Python, and it also gives you a development environment called Jupyter Notebook. So once you press download, you get that out of the way, then you open up Jupyter Notebook, and here we go, let's write this simple code. So it's gonna be nine lines. Uh, to start it off, we're gonna to wanna to go weight equals, remember from our example, our weight was 0.1, and then we, we define our neural underscore network, network which is gonna be input comma, weight then after that you're going to want to put a colon space and the output is a prediction so you want to go prediction equals I'm sure you guys remember this prediction is just simply input times the star on the computer is also times so input times weight and then after that return prediction so that is just an empty neural network that's it now next you're gonna want to put remember the number of toes so number of toes is equal to we're gonna make we're gonna add all the different examples that we use the first example we used was eight toes then we also did 9.5 toes, and we also did zero toes. So, so that's good. 
Next, we're going to want to um, do input equals num number of toes. So in programming, when you're counting, everything starts from zero. So if we want to do eight as our input this time, you want to type in zero. If you want to type, if you want, if we want to do nine point five as our input, we would put one. If we want to do zero as our input, we would put two. But first, we're gonna try zero. Okay, now finally, we're gonna to want to use the neural network that we defined up here to make the prediction. So we want to do pred equals neural network input comma weight and then we just basically want to just print our prediction now let's run run the cell this is how you run it 0.8 just like we did on the whiteboard if the average number of toes on the baseball team is eight toes here's the zero remember we count from zero one two if it's eight toes they got an 80% chance of winning. Now, if we change up this code and we put the one, like I was saying earlier, the input's gonna be 9.5. And if we run this cell, they're gonna have a 95% chance of winning. Now, if we change the input to zero toes, that's really gonna mess up the baseball team. And they're going to have a 0% chance of winning. Now, this was the simplest neural network possible. Two neurons, a neuron, a simple weight, and an output neuron. That's it. Guys, if you want to see more, if you want to get more advanced into neural networks, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, all of that, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button. I will see you guys on the next video. On the next one, we're going to be, we're going, to be going from this two neuron neural network to a four neuron neural network. So make sure you stay tuned. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys on the next video.